in this lecture we will learn about different phases in cdm or different cdm phases there are mainly three clinical data management phases first is start up conduct and close out so you will start something you will conduct it and you will close out as the word suggests let's look at the first one this is a start up phase so it start up consists of activities like crf creation that is case report file creation uska designing database ka designing aur uska testing edit checks preparation and user acceptance test preparation that is uat jo user hai wo bhi to test karke accept karega that is user test acceptance to kitni cheeze ho gayi crf ka preparation uska designing database ka designing uska testing edit checks preparation uat along with document preparation such as so document preparation mein kya aayega data management plan crf completion guideline data entry guidelines data validation plan activities involved key activities involved in this phase is crf designing and development from protocol creation of all required documents so mainly jo case report file hai the case report file is developed in this phase design and developed in this phase database ko build bhi hum डिजाइन और बिल्ड भी इसी टेस्ट में करते हैं क्रिएशन ऑफ रिक्वायर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट्स भी इसी फेज में करते हैं एरेट चेकलिस्ट प्रेप एंड टेस्टिंग भी हम इसी फेज में करते हैं वट आर द की डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट आर प्रिपेयर्ड सो डेटा मैनेजमेंट प्लान सी आर एफ अप्रूवल फॉर्म एरेट चेक्स अप्रूवल फॉर्म डेटा बेस अप्रूवल फॉर्म सी आर एफ फाइलिंग गाइडलाइंस दीज आर द की डॉक्यूमेंट्स नाउ वी सेट सी आर एफ डिजाइन सो फर्स्ट यू विल डिस्कस अबाउट सी आर एफ डिजाइनिंग so as we have studied above crf can be of two types one is paper based one is ecrf that is edc type electronic data capture studies type therefore under crf designing it has two types again because of this thing there are two types of studies therefore we have two types of crf designing one we'll talk about those two types obviously are paper crf and ecrf so first we'll talk about paper crf it's prepped by crf designer and sent to site for review because ultimately they are the ones who will review and approve it upon site confirmation that they like the design up as per the requirement paper crf will be designed in edc for data management team for data capture now if you have studied earlier if you know that when we studied about paper based crf there they said that once dmt once dmt has verified all the pages as per uh, all the scanned documents as per the tracking sheet they send it back to the site and there the paper crf is pres the uh, data is presented on paper crf is then captured into edc with the help of data entry guidelines so here also they are talking about the same that under paper crf designing once the site has confirmed paper crf it will be designed in eds for the dm team to capture the data under edc studies ecrf will be designed directly in edc by the edc tech lead and crf designer and site will have edc access to review it so who all they will first of all they said that they will directly design it after the designing of it edc by uh, uh, the designing of edc is done by who all edc tech lead and edc uh, sorry crf designer the site will have the edc access and it will look at uh, the, the edc access and they will review it there only then next they talked about so first they talked about crf understood creation bhi ho gaya designing bhi ho gaya approval bhi ho gaya next they talked about database to crf is completed next is database database designing data da database designing is done by database programmer and edc designer now here crf designer was there and edc tech lead for designing edc or ecrf here for designing database we have database programmer and edc designer so key points like field length dynamic forms acceptable range access level management will be designed as per the study requirement whatever your study is crf annotation plays a vital role in assigning the variables for each field after database designing is successful database programmer will implement the conditions as per data validation specifications that is dvs for queries to fire out the range condition so this is about database designing next is user acceptance test user acceptance test as the word suggests the user is now going to test for acceptance whatever system you have built just as when you order a machine or you order anything 
before accepting it online when it's delivered home you try out that outfit or you try out that machine and then you give the approval that okay it's working well even if the washing machine is ordered and it's delivered home you ask the person of the company to make it sure make sure that it runs properly so that is user acceptance test uat is the process where edit checks with specific condition as per the protocol is created by the clinical data analyst cda and the clinical database programmer cdp so they are going to uh, uh, check the system with real life conditions as per the protocol who all will check the clinical no they will not check it's create the real life condition is created by cda and cdp that is clinical data analyst and clinical database programmer created those condition in the database to fire query for the conditions database validation specifications dvs is the document where uh, where cda writes all the edit checks and cdp modifies the edc as per dvs so specification is something of a standard document where we say that for example i'm going to uh, let you know this in terms of qc language you have a product for example you have phenolphthalein to to check uh, well phenolphthalein we can't use because uh, it won't be appropriate let's say you have cefalexine you have a, a drug product cefalexine as per usp you are testing it so it will have assay test description test it will have ph it will have water content test all as per usp so it will have some desired range like for example ph very like i'm saying it out loud in an approx range from 5 to 7 suppose if at all i test it and my uh, acceptable range my my actual value is out of my acceptable range whatever was specified in the specification this is these are the specification commonly known as specs if it is out of my range i would say it is out of my specification ous out of specification so likewise only these uh, database also have or these softwares or these uh, whatever program that they are building also have user accept acceptance test and as per data validation specification and they test it out it is basically a document where a clinical data analyst writes all the edit checks now whatever they want to check out in their program while running it in real life condition they will check it and cdp that is a clinical database programmer modifies the electronic data capturing uh, devices as per the uh data validation specification so they will check it out and wherever the problem occurs they will modify it so this is what happens in uat that is user acceptance test example as per the protocol age inclusion is 18 to 55 years so if someone is writing 70 years or 56 years it should reject it so when the data is captured as below 18 or above 55 uh every files or every text as per the protocol because uh, age inclusion is from 18 to 55 years so please confirm so it should show this particular this particular uh pop up should be there on the screen that as per protocol age inclusion is 18 to 55 please confirm that it is from this limit to till this limit it should not be below it so this is all about the startup phase of cdm okay i will write down here in summary that the startup phase because we are just starting up has crf case report file designing and creation creation and designing database design database design and review other specific documents creation so next is uh, edit checks preparation user acceptance test uat user acceptance test and document preparation document preparation so what all documents that are first of all that is data the those document preparation is data management plan dmp data manage kaise karoge uska plan crf ko bana rahe ho to crf completion guideline data entry kar rahe hoge to data entry guidelines and data validation plan so data management plan data validation plan guidelines do a crf completion guideline and डेटा एंट्री गाइडलाइंस यहाँ पे भी देख लेते हैं की डॉक्यूमेंट्स जो होते हैं डेटा मैनेजमेंट प्लान वैलिडेशन ऑफ व्हाट इट सेस डेटा वैलिडेशन प्लान डीवीपी डेटा वैलिडेशन प्लान सीआरएफ अप्रूवल फॉर्म एडिट चेक्स अप्रूवल फॉर्म डेटाबेस अप्रूवल फॉर्म सीआरएफ फाइलिंग गाइडलाइंस ओके 
तो यहाँ पे हमारा स्टार्टअप ख़त्म होता है नेक्स्ट इज कंडक्ट फेस सो कंडक्ट फेस में क्या प्राइमरी एक्टिविटीज रहती है एक्टिविटीज इन कंडक्ट फेस इज सी आर एफ ट्रैकिंग डेटा एंट्री डिस्ट्रिपेंसी मैनेजमेंट एस ए ई रिव्यू एंड रिकनसाइलेशन डेटा कोडिंग यूजिंग मेड डी आर ए एंड डब्ल्यू एच ओ डी डी डिक्शनरीज डेटा रिव्यू ऑन गोइंग क्वालिटी कंट्रोल डेटा ट्रांसफर की डॉक्यूमेंट्स इज सी आर एफ ट्रैकिंग गाइडलाइन डेटा एंट्री गाइडलाइन ऑब्वियस डेटा करेक्शन प्लान डेटा वैलिडेशन प्लान डेटा कोडिंग प्लान डेटा इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सपोर्ट स्पेसिफिकेशन सो कॉन्टैक्ट फेस इज द लॉन्गेस्ट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट एंड द मोस्ट क्रिटिकल फेस मोस्ट क्रिटिकल फेस वेर डेटा कैप्चर डेटा क्लीनिंग एंड डेटा रिकनसाइलेशन मेडिकल कोडिंग सो क्या क्या कहा डेटा कैप्चर फर्स्ट वन डेटा क्लीनिंग सेकेंड वन डेटा रिकनसाइलेशन थर्ड वन मेडिकल कोडिंग फोर्थ वन एंड डेटा वैलिडेशन फिफ्थ वन फाइव चीज़ों की बात की डेटा सब में कॉमन था बात करेंगे डेटा कैप्चर डेटा क्लीनिंग डेटा क्लीनिंग रिकनसाइलेशन डेटा को मेडिकल डेटा कोडिंग एंड डेटा वैलिडेशन ऑल दीज फाइव थिंग्स कम अंडर फेज टू ऑफ सी डी एम दैट इज कॉन्डक्ट आफ्टर स्टार्टअप फेज टेक्स प्लेस विथ रेगुलर इवेल्युएशन ऑफ डेटा नोन एज इंटरीम एनालिसिस वाई इंटरीम एनालिसिस सर्च इट आउट ऑन गूगल इंटरीम का मतलब होता है इनिशियल और एकदम लास्ट वाले से मतलब फर्स्ट एंड सपोज आई हैव थ्री स्टेजेस आई हैव टू मेक स्पेशली दिस इज डन इन क्लीनिंग वैलिडेशन दैन आई हैव टू मेक अ रिपोर्ट आफ्टर अ क्लीनिंग इज डन तो एक रिपोर्ट बनती है जिसके बाद जिस रिपोर्ट में आप अपने प्रोटोकॉल के बेसिस पे जो भी आपने एक्टिविटी क्लीनिंग की कंडक्ट की है इन डिफरेंट फेजेस आप उसका डे वन डे थ्रू डे सेवन वट एवर इट इज यू राइट द समरी कि दीज आर माय फाइंडिंग्स एंड दिस इज द कंक्लूजन दैट इज व्हाट इज रिटर्न इन द रिपोर्ट द ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड द कंक्लूजन एंड द फाइनल वट इज इट सो दैट इट इज क्लीन स्टेट और एनी डिस्टर्बेंसीज ऑब्जर्व बट बिफोर राइटिंग दिस फाइनल रिपोर्ट इफ इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू यूज द इक्विपमेंट और फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू वॉन्ट टू रन द नेक्स्ट बैच then an interim report can be taken out although the f- actual running of uh, the actual production will be done as per the plan only but a interim report is also taken out and that is what is i'm trying to explain that before in initi- before like sorry in between the first stage and the last stage if something is happening in between we call it as interim beach ka interim analysis why interim analysis because एक फाइनल एनालिसिस तो सब कुछ खत्म हो जाने के बाद होगा बट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स पे बीच बीच में जो हो रहा है वी आर डूइंग एट वी कॉल इट एज इंटरीम एनालिसिस अलॉन्ग विद डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सच एज ओवर ए मैनेजमेंट फॉर्म रिविजन रिक्वेस्ट फॉर्म एंड पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन चेंजेस ना अब इसमें क्या आपने बोला डेटा कैप्चर सो डेटा कैप्चर डेटा कलेक्शन फिर आता है डिस्टर्बेंसी मैनेजमेंट एंड दिस ऑल आई थिंक विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर टिल देन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब and do not forget to turn on the post notification bell i am working really hard here to give you the best content out there cdm if you ever go out there to learn it's not free you will have to pay certain amount and then you will get that um service here it's for free so the least you can do is subscribe till then thank you uh, look out for uh, part 4 of this video lecture series for conduct of uh, cdm phase 2